Good afternoon and welcome to Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center and the Queen Anne's County Ferry Point Park. Um, we've long anticipated this day and I'm sure many of you have. And we're so excited that we get to have this large group of people here today to be able to see um, all the work that's been done by our uh, Department of Public Works and our parks. Um, I know they worked really hard to make this happen and we're just so excited. Uh, the park has already been utilized um, so very much since it opened in uh, April 1st. Um, I think our residents are really excited because this is uh, just a showcase of all that Queen Anne's County has to offer. I'd now like to introduce our County Administrator, Todd Mond, to say a few words. All right. Thanks, thanks, Heather, and thanks uh, for, for you and, and Lisa Gallo for ordering up this beautiful, spectacular weather today here at the Kenton Arrows. And I'm happy, so delighted to be here today to, to finally, finally dedicate and complete this showcase project here at our Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center with the completion of this multi-phase project. And um, I want to talk, you know, about it a little bit, but I do want to give a little history in that. You know, we bought this, this facility, this property back in the mid-1990s, 94, and uh, it was actually a residential property at the time and it had some apartments in it and um, it wasn't in the greatest condition, the greatest shape and it's been, a, it's been a labor of love ever since, you know. So we've been doing a lot of work on the building and it does house our economic development and tourism uh, department now. It also houses uh, the Kenton Arrows Development Foundation. They have their offices here and of course our, our police and DNR substation. So, you know, that, that is a great piece to have here in the Kenton Arrows and a great presence that we have here so but the grounds here was always you know a bit of a mess you know it, it was the bulkhead was low we had the tide rolling up over the bulkhead it always flooded out the, the grass was always you know sort of patchy and the parking lot always flooded so it really wasn't a great usable outdoor space so it was very challenging to figure out how we were going to make those improvements to make it all work so that it could be usable by not only the citizens but also the general public that want to come and visit us here in Queen Anne's County so but it all started then um, you know with the bulkhead behind me here it it had some holes in it and it was very very old it had failed and you know earth and soil kept running through into the Kenton Arrows and of course then we had to dredge the Kenton Arrows out so we kept fixing that and fixing that. We knew we had to repair that permanently so fortunately and uh, uh, our public landing supervisor James Woods is going to talk about it in a minute. We He was successful at acquiring some grant dollars so we could fix the bulkhead and take care of that problem. Of course that you know that led to more improvements and we, we knew we had this this lovely boat landing and then we had added the T-Pier as part of the project and then of course you know the parking lot needed you know some reconfiguration and the ground so you know below you there's a, a, a very uh, elaborate stormwater management system to drain all this property so that we don't have the flooding and it does it does drain well the water goes away and it's, it's nice and dry and the grass is beautiful green so we're very very pleased how things turned out you know, with all the you know the help with our uh, our granting agencies from Department of Natural Resources, and of course our our county commissioners, uh, Commissioner um, Phil Duminell, our vice president of the board. We couldn't have uh, accomplished all this without their support and their funding because there are a lot of local dollars in this as well. So we uh, we really thank uh, our county commissioners for um, you know for funding the project uh, as as they did. And lastly, you know, when we finished everything, we said, well, you know, the roadway coming in it needs a little love too because it you know the trail had you know curb stops along it and we said we you know we really ought to put a curb and gutter in there and really tie this thing up nice so make it a multi-phase and multi uh, 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 completion project all the way back to you know to the parking lots underneath the bridge so we redid the roadway put the curb and gutter in repaved everything and buttoned everything up and uh, so we're very very pleased how everything turned out and you know this kind of project you know it was largely an in-house design and I want to acknowledge you know all the stakeholders that were uh, involved in this our parks and recreation group our economic development and tourism group our department of public works and Paul Sides is here he was the project you know manager down here on the site and we, we uh, went through many 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 iterations had many many meetings about how this was going to look what colors to use on the concrete you know and and those were interesting times interesting meetings but we uh, we got through all that and uh, and again the county commissioners for their patience and understanding as we went through all those iterations to to bring this beautiful project to fruition so so we're very very pleased how this looks uh, the the end product for our, our visitors 
and our citizens of Queen Anne's County. So, uh, but I'd like to ask uh, Commissioner Phil Dumanel to say just a few words too, since he's here today, and and uh, acknowledge everybody's presence. So, thank you. So, thank you. So I'll be brief. Um, so a couple folks right out of the gate that I would be remiss if I didn't thank. I want to thank uh, Joe, um, who runs the uh, the marine over here at Piney Narrows. Uh, during the construction process, uh, they were a friendly neighbor when it came to parking equipment and cars and things of that nature. So Joe Pomerantz and, and your crew over there at Piney Narrows, thank you very much. We appreciate your help on that. Um, I have to tell you that somebody who enjoys being on the water, um, enjoys boating, uh, enjoys fishing, I think this project really does dot all the I's and crosses the T's. Um, we do have an area where uh, fishing is not allowed and we have an area where fishing is allowed. So I think it was a great compromise. One of the things that the set, the set of commissioners really try to do is, is find areas where we can invest uh, money in um, opening up op opportunities for our citizens to be able to access public waterfront. Um, places where they can go and enjoy um, the, the Narrows and this is an, a, a great opportunity, a great example of where people who live here in Queen Anne's County or are visiting Queen Anne's County can come and hang out with their families and enjoy the, the surroundings and uh, Ferry Point Park. So with that um, I'll bring Todd back up uh, also, we want to thank the folks from DNR. I know we had some grant dollars that uh, helped us with this project. So the folks from the Department of Natural Resources, thank you very much for your partnership in this project. Yeah, thank you, Commissioner Dumanel. So next, I'd like to ask James Wood, our Public Landing Supervisor, to come on up and tell us a little bit about uh, his role in this. I'm not James Wood. Uh, I'm actually uh, Steve Chandler. I'm the director of uh, Parks and Recreation, and just you know, I wanted to take an opportunity to um, introduce James. To um, he's got a couple stories that um, are really um, really touches your heart about this whole uh, aspect here of, of the park. Um, so I'm going to allow him to say a few words, and I'm also going to be his uh, little side person to help hold uh, hold up pictures and things like that. So James Wood, our public landing supervisor. Good afternoon. Um, you know, ribbon cuttings or ceremonies like this, it's, you know, you don't even believe they're going to ever happen. Um, I got a printout of a spreadsheet that Sandy Peppy and I, who's now retired from DNR, we, it, uh, this project almost outlasted both of us, but, and she's enjoying retirement, and I can't thank her enough. But, that spreadsheet is version 26, okay? And Paul Seiden and I have traded countless e emails, and but I want to also recognize Rusty Lease, who's standing in the back there, and and uh, how many shovelfuls of uh, material do you think you put in holes that were behind that that bulkhead? <laughs> so, so he. He thinks we could have built a bridge to Red Eyes um, from here. Um, and I got involved with this project because I came down here one Friday, and you always worry on Fridays what's going to happen over the weekend. And there was this hole that had developed, and my friend is caution tape. So I want to just say beware of caution tape because the next thing you know, you're involved with a project. And, uh, but, you know, why did I put that caution tape up? And it was to protect the public. I didn't want and the county, but really it's the public. You didn't want someone to get hurt. You, you want to identify the hazard. Well, fast forward to today, this is also for the public, and I wanted to share three stories about the public. And we're at a visitor center, so yes, this is going to serve Queen Anne's County residents, um, but it also is a draw, focal point for people who have never been to Queen Anne's County, and we have a lovely museum in there we used just two weeks ago on a rainy day when we're supposed to have a field trip um, and I'll talk about that in a second um, but I also want to get back to the bulkhead was failing we did a couple band-aids uh, and try to fix it and we really we needed to replace it 
and that translates to asking uh, through the waterway improvement fund with DNR those are your boat stickers and other funding support from the state of Maryland so this is a real partnership state and county um, and there's a process you know you fill out a form and you say hey we need this money but we got these other projects and you're competing against all the other counties in the state of Maryland well this is a high profile site it's important you know we scored highly enough to get the funding initially guess what happened next COVID and material prices went through the roof and we needed more money and so there's change orders and every one of those is an email in another moment um, and my part sort of stops at the water's edge rusty and i try not you know we you know we're where land and water interface so i i want to compliment the next phase that we had a bus from ohio in that parking lot two weeks ago of folks with disabilities that wanted to come here to an island and they had a lovely time even though it was raining and lisa gallo gave us crab hats and a lot of things happened that was all to the good and it served it gave us a good rep representation of what queen Anne's county is all about okay so i want to thank my co-workers and my colleagues in within our department outside our department and our other organizations um i can't th say enough about sandy but also her colleagues carla fleming is here today matt uh, is here today and uh, Isaac who's not here today and uh, he's the dredging guy so we had a lot of aspects to all this and then natural resources police they operate out of here so we imp improved the boat ramp that they use we put in this tee pier and I want to thank uh, Captain Sarah Lawrence and Captain Adam Lawrence a mom and pop two captain boat school tow boat folks who said to me if you ever need a favor let me know and at 9 30 last night i'm asking if we have a could have a boat so here are my three stories ready the first one is about this bench right behind me and uh maybe steve if you could loan me the so this bench has an inscription on it and says in memory of arthur h piot smooth sailing love always Linda who's Linda you may ask well Linda called us up and when you're working late on a Friday and no one else is answering the phone the calls come to you and this bench her bench this bench was not here because we're under construction and she got very concerned but this pen pal relationship I'll call it through email developed and I just want to read one story from her and she came down here two Saturdays ago and uh, was very pleased with the outcome but very concerned when her bench was missing so she said today I spoke with myself who very kindly located the piece of the bench and the plaque and informed me that they had to be dismantled and will be rebuilt and placed close to where I had requested to be placed facing north here's our compass rose um, toward the Chester River where we for 20 years sailed through the Narrows when exiting Piney Narrows Yacht Haven and I just talked to Joe a minute ago and he remembers Arthur and Linda my husband was a you now here's the interesting part of the story sorry for all the preamble my husband was a US Air pilot and upon one of my visits to the bay to see the bench over the last 12 years I discovered two gentlemen sitting on the bench I explained that I had donated the bench to the park and hoped they were enjoying sitting on it I mentioned my husband's name and the one gentleman said he recognized the name as it turned out they were both US Air pilots the one man flew with my husband and I remembered his name from the trip pairings they informed me that they visited the park regularly and that my husband's bench was their favorite place to sit looking up the narrows toward the Chester River I found that to be an incredible coincidence so you never know what's on the other end of the telephone is you know they pay me to answer that telephone and but it's it's really a joy when something like that happens so our next uh, story if you can bear with me as recently as two Saturdays ago we have the park rangers uh, 
monitoring our parks and doing a good job and making sure everyone they're they're really ambassadors and i want to give them a plug so we have a thing called what did, we encourage them to take a picture what did i see at the park today so if you go on our website qsc.org to the parks and rec you can find out what they saw at the park today the idea is that if you're coming to our park you know what to expect that's what happened two Saturdays ago in that fishing area that we do allow people to come fishing. That is a, help me Chris, a blue catfish that's an invasive species. And we encourage people to catch these catfish and our watermen and our marina are catching them. So this gentleman is from Columbia, Maryland. Another visitor to Queen Anne's County had a positive experience. Of course, we hold the 4th of July here. My colleagues that work with Steve, you know, organize all that. That does benefit Queen Anne's County residents and every person that comes through here on their morning walk or whatever it is. And then finally, I do want to mention that we had that group of, with disabilities. They were from Ohio. They're, it's not disabilities, it's abilities. And their name is Youth Ability. And we hosted them that we we're supposed to come to Ferry Point. I cannot thank Lisa Gallo enough and everyone else to put together a nice experience for them. They came, they gave a, a program at the Kent Island Library. The name of their program was called Kindness Grows. And it was just lovely. And they came here, we went to the Waterman's Boat Base and Troy Wilkins and Captain Buck Lynch got on the bus and then they came over here and they would have been on this Compass Rose. We had a whole program around it, but it was pouring rain. But the bus parked in this nice brand new parking lot. We actually backed the bus into Ferry Point and at the, the very last moment, there was a great blue heron. And we had talked about great blue herons in Maryland and crabs and all this stuff. And the highlight was, Chris, again, Chris Jones gave us some crab traps and they practiced catching a crab in a crab trap. And those are the kind of experiences that are happening here for the public. Instead of falling in this pothole that I had put caution tape up, it's just really lovely to see all that and um, I just you know the emails are worth it you know the exchange of information the frustrations of what I mean I don't know how many decisions Paul Seiden had to make 10,000 maybe and no one thought this property would drain and we have come down here after hard rains and high tides extreme high tides just two weeks ago and it is working so I just can't thank it it's like really a collective effort. And um, it just makes me glad to work for Queen's County, be part of this, but also to just see the benefits. So uh, it's a joy to see the end of a project sometimes. And that's really what I'm here to say. So thank you. Yeah, and with that, uh, I'll ask Paul Seiden, the project manager from the Department of Public Works, just to say a few uh, acknowledgements and uh, then we'll proceed on, I think, with the ribbon cutting, right? All right, Paul? Oh. All right, good afternoon. I was fortunate enough to be the engineer and designer of this project. It's been a long time working on this project, like, like everybody said. But with everybody's input from all the departments, I think it turned out really well. Um, again, a thank you for all the departments, everybody that worked on this. There's a long list of uh, people to thank you, uh, but thank you. Uh, we did do this in-house, and I think by doing it in-house, we were able to change designs as we start going, added different things. So I think we were very fortunate to do it in-house to turn out the way it did here today. And we were also fortunate with the contractors we had here. We had great contractors. Um, for We had great contractors on this, and it was developed in like two different phases. Phase one was the bulkhead, the boat ramp, the pier, and a boat lift. Um, and then phase two was the backfill, site grading, the concrete that you see here, the park a lot, and the buyer retention area. So the buyer retention area, we, we didn't have any stormwater management on this site before. And now we have stormwater management on this site. And we actually have a boardwalk that leads through the buyer retention areas. So people could actually walk through and see how important the stormwater management is for the environment. With, with that being said, the contractors that were involved here was Murtech. Murtech did the, the bulkhead and they had expertise 
in, in every aspect of the project that helped us out in every way. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Bob Murtha, um, Tyler, and also, I'm sorry, um, Tyler and Jason Hare. They're great guys to work with. They were contractors that I felt like they thought this was a project in their backyard. That's how much wor they were worried about it. And asked about it, how things should be and making sure everything was right. Uh, it's a great company that they have and I'm uh, very happy that they had that part of the contract. And that's the same with uh, the phase two of this project. Phase two of this project was David A. Bramble. They're the same way. Um, they, they came in quickly. We had a lot of backfill, a lot of grading to do, and they made short work of that. And the same thing with that. They, they built these boardwalks back here, and I didn't even know they did boardwalks. And they did a great job on that. They had some good ideas, and we implemented their ideas as well. And that's, that's the results that you have here. Nice product we have at the end. Um, so I'd like to thank uh, Chuck, Chuck Scott, Justin and Roger, they, they did a great job too. And also, their subcontractor, Paul Rock, they're the ones who did the concrete on here. And again, they were also great with everything they did. They, um, they made sure the colors were right. We did test samples, make sure everything was right. I had Heather and her group come out, make sure the colors looked like it was supposed to look like. And they took time to make sure everything was right with all this stuff. And uh, same with this compass rose that we have installed here. The compass rose, the compass rose it, the color is the same colors as the Queen Anne's County seal. So that's why these colors are this color. So we made sure the colors match the county seal. So um, again, we were fortunate with a good contractors. Everybody's helping all the departments. I think everybody did a great job. It was a long run, but I think it paid off. And uh, so I think now what we have here, we have a, a park that has wide open, you know, grass open space. You have a fishing area, you have a boating area, you have DNR that could get out in the narrows quicker, and a staging area here for the future, uh, for many events that have come. So I'm looking forward to see the 4th of July event here. Uh, it should be a good event, and uh, thank you everybody, I appreciate it.